da 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 This is a hard climb, da 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 but we can do it. Da 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 we're gonna make it. Da 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 creepy lady screaming at me, doop do. Oh goodness. That's that's really creepy. She's gonna feast on my heart. I'm not liking this conversation. I don't know if you are listening to this weird conversation he's having with the evil lady, but it's not good. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? This is Reese, or Brushyad Cub, and um, it's called the Hard Climb. This level of Works Must Die. It's not really that hard to climb. It's just up a flight of stairs, and I can do it because I'm beast. We're gonna go on this level with our Elemental Weaver again because we're gonna be using a lot of spells. Go ahead and grab these two. I'm really liking fire and lightning, so of course we're going to grab those two first hunting. off. Now this level, you can't really place a lot of traps. You can place things on the ground, but this is literally the only area you can place something on the wall. And uh, you can do it on the other side as well, but you get the idea. Let's throw open our inventory here. Going to go with our basics, fire, ice, lightning. And um, actually, we're going to go with lightning, fire, then ice. Big dudes, little dudes... And, hmm, some of that, some of this, maybe, these are the new uh, auto ballista, we'll go ahead and grab them, I don't know if we'll use them, but we're definitely going to be using the decoys, oh my gosh, these guys are so cool, I have underestimated them, they're awesome, and I'm going to show you how to use them to their, their fullest and bestest ability, we're not going to set up anything back there just yet, let's set up some of these guys first, and I think the archers will probably be the most helpful guys we can get in this level, next to... A couple of heavies. So let's unleash that horde. Let's grab some lightning bolts. And we're, we're holding lightning in our hand. That's how awesome this is. Let's shock those guys. Shocking experience, isn't it? Oh, oh, I, I amuse myself. I, I really do. Let's shock these guys as well. And uh, let's shoot this guy in the head as uh, they're starting to fan out. And shocking is really only good when they're close together and you can get like four kills. Where are you headed, man? Ooh. Ooh, devastating. Absolutely devastating because we're bosses. We are very beastly bosses. Let's run up here and throw up one of these arrow walls. And we'll run over here and throw up another one so that things can be symmetrical. Because I like things to be symmetrical. And we actually have enough money for some of this. Oops. Didn't mean to put that there. Oops. Not good. Okay. Um, messing with my brain now because it's not where I want it. This is the same. Uh, this is the same day of the last two things. That that was terrible grammar. What I'm trying to say is, I recorded this episode on the same day as the last two. I've tried to space them out a little bit so that maybe interesting things can happen in between recordings, and I'll have stuff to talk about. Hadn't really worked. I don't really have much to talk about, except for the fact that I've listened to a lot of CP. If you don't know what CP is, CP is an amazing podcast called Control Point, and it's full form, and it's by the same guys that do. Um, like the Shaft podcast, the Minecraft podcast, the Shaft. Uh, that's the DWP, the Dead Workers Party. And I've been trying to work my way through all their episodes so I can start listening to the new ones without feeling like I'm missing anything. And um, let me tell you what, it's taken me a while. I'm definitely not going to set any records with it. But I'm on episode 93 right now. And I've been listening to them a lot over the last couple of days because, like I said, I've been doing a lot of cleaning and stuff. And I pretty much just left them on over my computer while I cleaned and stuff. Let's see, what are we going to set up now? Heavies are really useful on this level. I don't know if I said that, but they... Maybe not so much for killing's sake, but definitely for, uh... Kind of holding a line. If you can, uh... What am I trying to say? Guys will pretty much just run up the stairs and hit these guys, and they won't be able to get past, and they'll be great. Now, we're going to have some pretty nasty dudes come out in this next level... And we're gonna have these here, and I'll, ah, I don't even know how to describe how awesome these are. You'll just have to wait and see what they do. Let's unleash the horde, and um, I'll get up here. And, oh, okay, this isn't quite the guy I was expecting to have come out. I was expecting a a, a gnoll or a wolf looking. I'm just gonna call him a wolf because he looks like a wolf. Let's face it. I don't have time for this. I gotta go take care of this guy over here. Leave my heavies be, you monstrosity. Eat fire. You eat fire! I don't understand why, but it seems to me like if you blast these guys with the... Uh... Oh, I didn't realize they're flyers. That's not good. Are they taken care of? Oh, nope, they're getting through the top. Okay. Gotta look out for this here. That could have been really bad. But, crisis averted. We've got some moolah. Let's set up some more archers. Ah, I'm stuck! 
And uh, I'm going to put him down here for now. And actually, if I got a second, I'm going to throw one up here. What the heck? Get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> Let's go do some lightning nonsense. Boom. So gnolls. They look like wolves. They don't look like gnolls. A gnoll is a mixture between a gnome and a troll. Neither of which are in this game, even though the ogres look like trolls. Uh, neither of which are actually in this game. Um, so, somehow or another, we have gnolls. I don't know where they came from. Maybe it was some kind of scientific experiment gone wrong. Maybe it wasn't inbreeding. Uh, that wouldn't be inbreeding, though, would it? No, that would be crossbreeding. My bad. My bad. I got my terminology mixed up. I, I do that a lot. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm so gonna die. Oh, this is not gonna end well. These guys aren't meant to attack these things, so I'm gonna ask them to please stop, because they're gonna basically waste that, which is... It's there for a good reason. I can't tell you what yet, because it's just going to be awesome when it happens. I'm going to set up another heavy. And that way we'll have four on each side. Boom and boom. Boom. Excellent, beautiful, lovely. I'm loving it. Are you loving it? I'm loving it. Loving it like McDonald's. No, I didn't eat McDonald's. In the last video, I said I was going to go get something to eat. Still haven't gotten anything to eat. I'm still hungry. It's still late. And, uh, okay. Okay, look. I'm going to get the gnolls over here, and they're going to attack these things. It's going to be sweet, man. They're going to blow up. Oh, booyah, baby. Oh, I love it. It's great because now they leave me alone. They leave my guys alone. They just, they run for those really fake looking little statue things. It's, it's brilliance. I cannot begin to express how much I love those. And at first I thought they were really dumb because I didn't see a reason for them. But I think I understand it now. I think I, I think I really understand the, uh, the concept. And um, now that I know how to apply it, I don't know why I'm shooting these guys with fire. It was really an accident. Why we got a second? I'm gonna beef up our archer defense up here. As well as reorganize our heavy defense. Now heavies by themselves may seem a little susceptible to, I don't know, death. In big groups, they are quite a devastating force. What have we got? We've got some more biggies. Some big, big guys. So let's keep him right there on the fire. So maybe we'll get a lot of damage. Blast him with lightning to finish him off. Get the coin. Fall back over here and freeze this guy. That's not fire. There we go. Freeze this guy. Sometimes I've noticed. I don't know if it did this before, but I'm this level. I've noticed this a lot. Sometimes my arrows actually like ricochet off the ice. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. I don't like it. It's a feature that I think I could do without. Um, excellent. Good job, men, women, creatures. I'm going to throw out more of these. I didn't realize that they didn't heart hurt each other. So I think that having a lunch, lo lo lunch of them... Having a lunch of them up... I'm hungry. I'm talking about lunch. Having a lot of them up is going to be a useful thing, I do believe. Oh, that hurt. Hurt him worse. Alrighty, so far so great. So far so great. Do 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 do. My name is Demi Lovato. And da 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 da. I'll marry her someday, guys. You're gonna see it in lights. Reese Pearson marries Demi Lovato. This'll hurt. Probably not. Probably not gonna happen. Alrighty, ice those guys. Not ice them, I'll, I'll let you keep them. Now, I have a question. Um, I don't know what the question was. What do you guys... I don't... Mm, let's get let's get deep here. Let's get really deep. If you guys had to pick any kind of sandwich in the world, like you could get right now, someone would just make it for you, and uh, what would it be? What would you choose? What kind of sandwich would you get? This is This might not seem like a very big question, but it is. And that's because it involves, it involves kind of a matter of the heart. What is your sandwich love? And I know that that might be a question that a lot of people don't dare ask. But I'm getting into your lives right now, guys. I really want to know what your sandwich love is. I've got no idea what these do. But I'm putting them up.
dun 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 boom like a boss in the face like a boss get over here and offer some support to these guys and my auto ballista should be firing at this guy but I don't think they are and it bothers me so they almost seem useless did I really just spend that much money in something useless I feel as oh no look they're shooting it looks like they're shooting at these guys though that's what I got archers for what the heyday I I don't understand I don't I don't get it let's get some fiery bolts up in her oh can I not what no wait, hold on reset Mmm, I guess I might as well go ahead and get that. I'm not really using my uh, my bolts much though, am I? Am I? I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. I seem like my my attention span is everywhere. Everywhere at once. And back to the sandwich thing. If I could have any sandwich I wanted at any minute of any day. Um like right now, if someone came up to me and said, Hey, I'm gonna make you a sandwich, what do you want? I don't I don't know what I would answer. And that's the thing that bothers me is does that mean I don't know myself very well? Does that mean I don't I don't know the most innermost desires of my heart if I don't know what sandwich I want? I always thought that being a guy, and this, if I have any girl listeners, uh, this goes to you two. I'm not sure how y'all feel about sandwiches, but I, I reckon it's got to be something close to a guy's feeling for sandwiches. Um, I, I don't know what I'd want. I, I Every time I think of sandwich, I always immediately go to, you know, like the plain Jane... You know, nasty, dried out wheat bread that I have at the house always. That I always, you know, slap some mayonnaise on it, maybe some mustard and some turkey. Love me some turkey. Maybe peanut butter and jelly, you know, I like me some PB&J. But that doesn't really sound appetizing. Until you really think about sandwich, though. I mean, a sandwich could be anything. It could be a, mm, a chicken panini. I think that's a sandwich, right? A panini qualifies as a sandwich. That sounds really good. A grilled chicken panini with spinach. Mmm! Man, and tomato really fresh juicy tomato it's it just like you bite into it and it fills your ah oh, it's mmm that sounds really good and then you know what would be even better with that it would be if you put some mayonnaise on it and then grill you know the panini bread cause that's a panini isn't a panini until it's, it's grilled it's gotta be grilled that's the only way to do it it's the only proper way to eat your panini is grilled and I mean that sounds really good to me something else though if you wanna go with a more traditional sandwich a toasted sandwich from Subway I'm thinking either I really really like their buffalo chicken sandwiches but um they're so, they make it they also make a pretty good chicken teriyaki but I don't know man that mmm see now I want me a buffalo chicken sandwich from Subway but I don't want to go on Subway see, I need something for dinner and that would be a good healthy alternative to you know I think in the last video I said I was gonna might be going to Jack in the Box but I don't know now I don't know now I just don't want to go in. I don't want to, because if I go through a drive-thru, I can go in my shorts and my t-shirt and not even think twice about it. But, you know, if I go into Subway, I got to get out. I got to walk in. We don't have a drive-thru Subway. I have three three Subways in this city where I live. And not a single one of them has a drive-thru, you know, where you can call in. And I know a lot of you are like, Subways don't have drive throughs you idiot. Well, no, they have, you know, you can call it in and they just drive through and pick it up. None of ours have that. So, I don't know. I think we'll have to pick up the sandwich conversation another time because it looks like I'm about to win. And as soon as this guy goes down, winning! So yeah, I don't know. What do you, what, what kind of sandwich do you want right now? I, you don't have to answer that. I, I just hope I've stirred some kind of questioning in your soul as to where your mind goes when you think of sandwich and what the true innermost sandwich desires of your heart are. And um, I'm, I know I'm definitely going to be contemplating this over the next 30 minutes while I think about what to eat. And uh, yeah, so there we go. That's the end of that level. That was hard climb. And you know what? There's only... There's only three levels left. I hope you guys have enjoyed the series. And uh, next month, new giveaway, new game. It's going to be awesome. And I will see you then. This is Reese, and I love you. Goodbye.